Okay, um, last year I made a video called the ultimate action camera setup for youth baseball and softball or something like that. I'll put a link here to that video. Um, I just have an update to my setup. This is the setup here. Two major changes. The one major change is I've changed from GoPro to the DJI Osmo Action 3 uh, for a couple of reasons. Mainly because the GoPro kept overheating and shutting off <laughs> in the middle of the games. So that was just no good. Um, that's the major reason. Um, and then once I started using DJI, there's just some usability features that I really like more than the GoPro. Um, one of the things is that these doors they open up and out as opposed to down and out if you go down and out what happens is this, this knob here gets, gets in the way of opening the door okay one of the other features that I like is that the USB-C port is in a separate slot than the battery and the memory card compartment okay so now, as with the GoPro, I had to f like take this door off to use an external battery, which exposed the memory card and the battery compartment. Okay, and you get a lot of dust in here and whatnot. Um, but the DJI, the external power, goes in its own separate slot. Okay, and you can take this door off, or you just put it back on, right? And so here, this is how I have it set up. This is my external battery. Plug this in here. Turn this on. I have a digital display. Um, I have the magic arm. And, and I'll, you know, you'll see how I set this up. You just clamp this. You know, uh, oh, sorry, the biggest, the second biggest change is this clamp. Last year I was using a smaller clamp. I just, I found that it's too small sometimes for the, the fence post. And it just comes off easily. But this one, um, much bigger clamp and, uh, it, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, clamp this onto the pole. Then you have <clears throat> your magic arm here. You just, you know, arrange it so that you're looking, uh, the camera's looking through the hole in the fence with no fence in the way. You get a clear view of the game, good to go. And one thing that hasn't changed is I still have this little baggie here. Um, I clip this to the fence and hang the battery. I put the battery in here. And then I, cl I just, you know, clip this to the fence. And this all hangs together. And I'll show you some uh, videos um, of it sort of in action. And I'll say that this setup here, this this has worked for about 90, 98% of the fields that I've been to. You can also use this to clamp onto the, the, uh, the, the chain link fence. And you'll see part of the video. I'll show you this clamping onto the fence. So here's the GoPro. This is the Hero 11 that I bought at the same time. And you'll see how this, you have to open downwards, right? That's what I meant, opening it down. So then it gets this thing, the knob of the screw, gets in the way of just opening this up. And then again, you'll see the USB-C port is here, memory card and battery. So the GoPro only has one door if you want to use an external battery, you can either get this piece here, which is from GoPro. I think it was like 20 bucks. Like this. This is separate. Okay. Normally there's just a door with no hole. But you can buy this from GoPro, which is, I think it was $20. And it gives you a little hole or a slot for an external battery. That still doesn't change the fact that this thing overheats. This thing overheats and shuts off 
just randomly, right? There were several times where I had to go and, you know, my son made a great play. I went to go to check to see if I was had it on video, and I noticed that the GoPro was just off. And I don't know how long it had been off. Oh, yeah. And the reason why I don't use an internal battery at the same time as using an external battery is because um, what will happen is that the external battery will just charge the internal battery to 100%. And once that happens, the external battery turns off because there's no b power being drawn from it anymore, right? So then you, what you're really stuck with is an internal battery that's at 100%. And, um, you know, and a GoPro battery only lasts maybe like 30, 40 minutes. So after that, the GoPro just shut off, okay? Like this, this external battery isn't smart enough to know that, oh, the, this battery is, is dead. I got to charge it. It doesn't turn back. This turns off once there's no power being drawn. And it doesn't turn back on unless you turn it back on manually, right? Physically turn it on. Um, so that's why I don't use internal batteries as I'm using an external battery. That's the same for the DJI as well. Um, you know, it, it'll just, you'll charge it to 100%. Uh, then it'll run off of the internal battery until that dies. And the external battery will just sit there because it doesn't know it's supposed to be charging. Um, the good thing about the DJI though is the internal battery um, it lasts for almost two hours or a little over two hours like 160 minutes so I could theoretically just use it for you know one game and then switch it out um, but then again you know we're playing sometimes double headers uh, we're at the field like you know four five hours so it's just a lot more convenient to use this external battery all right, so I'm going to go over the parts of the, the setup. Um, first, you have the magnetic mount that comes with the DJI. It's the magnetic mount, and it comes with the DJI action, um, and it just it provides the little GoPro feet. Okay. Then I have the tripod mount here that screws into the magic arm here. And the magic arm, which screws into the su super clamp. Now I said I switched from the mini uh, clamp to this big one. And so I found that sometimes these fence crossbars are a little bigger. And this one just it it's, has a lot more. It's bigger, it clamps harder, and it won't um, come off. So I'm still using this bag with a little carabiner. Put the battery in here. Clip the battery to the fence. I usually try to put it behind this pole so, uh, so that if there's a foul ball, it doesn't hit the battery. Plug this in. And that's the setup. Okay. And then I just use this little the magic arm and adjust the lens so that you don't have any of the chain link in the view. And that's that, so you can see here. I'll just shoot a little video with this um, just so you can see what it looks like from behind home plate. So hit record. And then I just sit back and watch the whole game. This battery will last, um, you know, one of my, my son's high school games lasted like three and a half hours. And when I was done, the battery drained down to about I still had like 74% left. So, you know, this this is going to last like all weekend if you have tournaments. <laughs>